all right so now our application is connected to the database all right now what we need to do is tell the database how our data should be structured all right or stored so right now what we need to do is we need to save our records right here okay because we were here in our application we created the form to add a record to the diary and once you hit enter we need to actually save those records in our database all right now before saving those records in our database we actually need to tell our database how the record is going to get stored so basically we are storing the title the description and the date right because if you come to our application if I go to go to diary and add now basically we have title here we have description and date we're gonna store these th three things in our database so the way we do this is by creating something called a schema okay I'm gonna create a folder here and set that to models and inside that models folder I'm gonna create a file called diary dot js all right i'm going to hit enter now here we need to create the schema all right basically we are telling our database how we are actually storing the data or how the data is going to look like when we are actually storing in the database so for this also we need the help of mongoose all right because we need to use mongoose dot schema method in order to create the schema so what i'm going to do is say const mongoose equals to require mongoose and here we're gonna say const diary schema okay it's just a random name and here what we're gonna do is create a new instance of mongoose.schema alright so we're gonna say new mongoose.schema okay so basically what we're doing is we are creating a new schema from mongoose.schema so basically this is how you create your schema all right and inside this mongoose.schema you can actually specify what are you storing in your database for us we were storing the title the description and the date so we need to specify that inside mongoose.schema so the first thing we'll be storing is title all right and we're gonna set it as an object and inside that object we can actually add certain options the first one is the type and we're gonna set that to string all right this means that the type of the data for our title will be a string the next parameter that I'll add is required and I'm gonna set that to true this means that the title should be required it should not be empty all right so when you actually send an empty title from the front end our back end will actually throw an error because here the required par parameter is true all right so it won't accept an empty string the second one I want is the description and here also is gonna be the same thing we're gonna set the type to string and required to true and the third one is gonna be a date now in this case the type is going to be date all right and not string and in the required parameter it's gonna be true because I also don't want the date to be empty all right so basically this is our schema all right so as you can see we are just structuring our data in our database all right that we need three things in our database that is the title description and the date and this title description and date will be stored inside the collection of our database now after creating the schema we need to create a model from this schema itself all right so basically what model does is it helps us to interact with the database all right so in order to create a model there is a method called mongoose dot 
model all right and it will take two things first one is the name of the model itself so we actually have to give the name of the model and in this case I'm gonna give diary all right and the second thing it will require is the schema on what schema is this model based so the schema is our diary schema right here because we are creating a model based on this schema all right so let's copy this and paste it right here there you go and I'm gonna export this so module dot exports equals mongoose dot model all right so basically what we're doing is we are creating a model with the help of mongoose dot model method all right so we get we are creating a model which is of name diary and we are creating a model based on diary schema that we have created right here all right and we're basically exporting this model with the help of modular exports because we need this model in our app.js in order to create read update or delete a data all right once we've exported this we need to import it here so I'm gonna go right here and say import diary model all right and here I'm gonna say const diary equals to require and we need to require this right here all right so right now we are in our app.js file so we need to go inside the models folder so dot slash models slash diary all right because basically diary.js is exporting our model so now this exported model is imported in our app.js and is inside this variable all right and with the help of this diary model we can interact with our database 